will be Kingston. But just in case, if you if you would like to get more information about Medellin and connect with City of Medellin, Ruta N, you can check their startup ecosystem portal uh, on our website. The next ecosystem is Kingston. Um, those that are familiar with uh, with Kingston know that the city uh, city of Kingston is uh, oldest city of Ontario, and they're nicknamed as Limestone City uh, because many buildings are are constructed using local limestone. Uh, and Kingston is known for its historic uh, properties, as reflected in their motto, where history and innovation drive. But they are young and vibrant and growing rapidly, uh, as you as we can see in their ranking. They're ranked ninth in in Canada and 183rd in worldwide. We have Norman, business development manager for Invest Kingston. Hello, Norman. Uh, floor is yours. Hello. Thank you so much. Um... Can you hear me and can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. So my name is Norman Musengimana, and I work with the Kingston Economic Development Corporation, a city that is... Sorry, Norman. Yeah. Hi, Norman. Katrin here. So we see your slide, but we also, we don't see it full screen. Maybe we can just put it full screen for everyone to see it it's, more it's, clearly. It's full screen. Uh, um, we see like the note. Presenter's screen. Oh, okay. One minute. Uh, two tabs and share one of them and, and use the other, I guess. Yeah, let me see how I can fix this because I have two. How about now? Yes, it's perfect now. Okay, thank you so much. So as I was saying, my name is Norman Musingimana and I work with the Kingston Economic Development Corporation. I've been working with this organization for the past almost four years now. And we are a city that is strategically located uh, in southeastern Ontario, uh, three hours from Toronto, two hours from Ottawa, three hours from Montreal, seven hours to New York, uh, Boston, and Washington DC by, by road. So given that geographic location, we really have a competitive advantage that is a little bit different from what a city like Toronto will offer, Montreal, uh, or Ottawa will, will offer to startup entrepreneurs. And our ecosystem has been growing rapidly because we have uh, one of the best business schools in Canada in this city, one of the best universities in Canada, in this city as well, we have the Canada Royal Military College, which has students, both military and non-military uh, civilian students. And then we have another local college that is called St. Lawrence College uh, that also trains uh, like really quality talent. From a startup perspective, uh, Kingston is one of the, when it comes to intellectual property uh, development, creating patents and those type of um, intellectual property instruments, Kingston is one of the best in Canada uh, because with Queen's University, we have a specific program that is tailored to commercialize all the unique uh, inventions that are created from the university, but also they support our ecosystem. And so some of the startup entrepreneurs we have in the ecosystem will be coming even from abroad to help commercialize some of these technologies. Every year we have more than 60 patents issued uh, to, to startups in this ecosystem. Uh, from an industry perspective, uh, given the fact that you are a smaller city compared to the cities around us, we cannot try to do it all. We have developed an integrated economic development strategy that helps us to focus on what's really great for our ecosystem and what we have seen succeed do really well in this ecosystem. So from that perspective, we are concentrating on clean technologies. We are concentrating on EV and battery technology, food processing, health innovation, material process innovation, research and development, and uh, incubation and acceleration of some of these uh, IP or intellectual property that is being developed from this ecosystem. 
So just to give you a highlight of what's happening in this ecosystem from a, a startup and a private sector development perspective, this is a company called Lifecycle. Uh, it came to Kingston in 2016 as an idea, and our ecosystem helped them to develop their technology, commercialize it. Right now, they are launching in Portugal, uh, in the US, headquartered in Kingston. And um, they, 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 they have been able to list uh, to the New York Stock Exchange at a valuation of $1.2 billion in about five years' time. So if you're in clean technology, I want you to know that we have all the tools you want to be able to succeed in this ecosystem. Uh, when we talk about electrical vehicle and battery technology, Umiko is one of the largest companies in the world, is headquartered in Belgium. Uh, just about four months ago, it decided to invest in Kingston and they have invested about $1.5 billion uh, in, this, uh, in this industry. So they want the, their battery technology to be developed and to be commercialized from this ecosystem. Rulact is a food processing uh, business that is located uh, that came from Portugal and chose Kingston as its uh, North American headquarters just because of the, the way our ecosystem is set up and the kind of support they can get, the type of talent they can get from being based or, or located in this ecosystem. Uh, Tecta PDS is one of the health science technologies that uh, probably about two months ago was acquired by a US-based company. Erantra is one of the leading uh, learning management system on uh, uh, in healthcare system that was developed and invented here at Queen's University, and it's now selling to all the key health um, uh, health science universities uh, around the world, uh, including Queen's University. Uh, under material processing, we have BGM Metal Works. Everything you need uh, to be as raw materials or finished products from a metal works perspective, uh, these guys can be able to, to help you to either to manufacture it or to customer, tail it, to customize to the kind of maybe products you're looking to produce or the kind of technology you're looking to apply. From a research and development perspective, uh, we have Queen's University, we have Launch Lab, we have St. Honest College, we, uh, and we have Innovation Hub at St. Honest College. All these uh, institutions work with startups and companies in our ecosystem to help them to either commercialize uh, the technology they have or to help them pro get access to the talent they need or get access to mentors or entrepreneurs in residence to be able to succeed um, as a business. Then we have sustainable manufacturing, where we have uh, exa an example of Graphoid, uh, an organization that has uh, developed proprietary technology on how to commercialize at a scale graphene. And this has been in Kingston for probably more than 20 years, but they, they are always innovating, always leading uh, that space. So what do we do as an organization? Uh, we help entrepreneurs from those who are exploring uh, entrepreneurship as a, as a career option or as an option uh, to uh, people who are looking or who have already decided to start. We attract foreign direct investment. Uh, that's how Umiko came from Belgium or Fulat came from Portugal to, to this ecosystem. Uh, we have existing support for existing businesses that are facing uh, challenges. We have a very kind of robust, but also nimble, flexible ecosystem. We are able to interact with each one of our ecosystem partners very easily, and having having that gives us the, the leverage to be able to provide the resources that are required to support uh, our ecosystem and our companies. Then when it comes to access to capital, we have a uh, Southeastern Ontario Angel Network uh, that is headquartered here in Kingston. Uh, there are tax incentives uh, that companies that uh, are developing new technologies or commercializing new technologies can access from uh, a federal perspective at, uh, at the federal level. We have pitch competitions that take place uh, probably three times a year from uh, our our ecosystem perspective, but the, the Southeastern Angel Network holds pitch competition almost on a monthly basis. 
And then there are grants uh, based on the technology, based on the company, based on the industry uh, that you can get access to. When it comes to incubation and acceleration, we have the Queen's University has uh, what we call Startup Runway, a program that helps early stage entrepreneurs to commercialize their technology. And then we have an on-campus incubation center also called the Ninda Shpande Innovation Center. Uh, then we have Launch Lab that helps to accelerate uh, companies that are looking to scale. Uh, if you are new and you're looking for co-working space, uh, we have these uh, services available for you, either per hour, per day, per month, uh, or long term. We have all options available. Uh, when it comes to local talent, Kingston has really uh, an amazing talent when it comes to those specific industries uh, like clean technology, uh, health sciences, the ones that we have decided to, to go for as an ecosystem. We have amazing technology, uh, amazing talent from these institutions. And there are some programs that are designed specifically to help companies uh, access this talent from a financial incentive perspective. So the ecosystem is made up by a lot of institutions. Uh, these are some of the institutions we work with on a daily basis to try to help companies, to try to help startups, to try to help entrepreneurs to be successful at what they want to do. And uh, when it comes to quality of life, Kingston has been uh, ranked number one on various occasions and in uh, different areas of life. Is a city that doesn't face a lot of traffic. In 15 minutes, I can be at any part of the city that I want to be in any, any time of the day. So it gives startup entrepreneurs the opportunity to be able uh, to do what they are good at, to, to go and uh, hustle and grind and get their startups to, to really work as they, as, as they want to. You get more time because you are not wasting your time in traffic and all, all of this, all of the, the, the distractions that we usually disturb an entrepreneur. And then uh, we are we have the Lake Ontario runs from here up to Toronto, uh, so we have a really fantastic lake. We have the Frontenac Park right within 30 minutes of drive. So it's an area that when when you want to really focus on working, you will do it, and when you want to focus. Uh, or, or to gain, um, to re-energize re yourself, you also get opportunities to do so. Uh, I can say all I want to say about the ecosystem, but I think it's it's great if we can hear from the people who do it. Montreal and Quebec on one side, we've got Ottawa to the north, we've got Toronto and the whole GTA on the other side. We have a low cost center here that's that's proximal to all these large metropolitan areas. From the university and access to talent, community was really strong. There was that expertise, there was that knowledge base, and there was that availability here all locally. Um, so it was kind of a, a one stop shop for us. Uh, we also have a tremendous amount of support from the city of Kingston as well. Technology. So there's a number of organizations locally. The Green Center, they helped us out with a lot of the laboratory space, financial support and expertise, and then started working with Kingston Process Metallurgy. And so they really did the edge scale testing to really refine our flow sheet. We were able to go public and get into those capital markets that now allow us to by 2026, we expect to be fully installed in North America, and by 2030, we expect to be fully installed in Canada. But beyond that, the city of Kingston also has been very vocal with the startups in the United States. That makes the engines even stronger by being in Kingston and doing your business in Kingston. It's an amazing place to be. Thank you so much. Uh... As ecosystem organizations or as people who support entrepreneurs, we can say a lot about our ecosystem, but I think it's always great to hear from entrepreneurs 
who have made the decision to come and set up here. Thank you. Thank you so much, Norman. Uh, it was a pleasure having you. It's uh, it's quite interesting. There's so much to offer that the, the best place to raise a family to to the best place in Canada to live. Uh, I mean, it must. I mean, a, a small city could offer you know so much as 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 Kingston could do. I mean, uh, it, it's difficult to find small cities with so many opportunities uh, nowadays, and especially. Uh, in, in North America, but Kingston has has uh, you know proved that uh, quite uh, quite different. Thank you so much. The next ecosystem that will be presenting uh, is, but before that, uh, in case if you would like to connect uh, with Norman and and the Kingston Economic Development Agency, uh, you can visit uh, their startup ecosystem portal. You have to search for Kingston Startup Link. You can get more insight on key stats of the ecosystem, comparative analysis of the ecosystem, and overall landscape in the ecosystem. Uh, until 